This tutorial is a instruction for how to make your own bendable plastic hands. Usually when you see a construction for a hand it's attached to, uh, to a body made also of PVC pipe um, and various other materials. Uh, but the problem is, is that you can never have a hand that you can adjust to a natural position. Let's go on to the actual build. And so the materials you'll need are PVC pipe, PVC cutting tool, spray adhesive, staple gun, tape, marker, old wood, your hand, some pliers with a wire cutting tool, your hand size nitrile exam gloves, wire coat hangers, and some bed foam. Start with your piece of wood. It should be about the width and length of your hand. Then measure from the base of your wrist to the tips of each of your fingers. Cut the coat hangers into individual strips, two of each for each finger, and then staple the coat hanger pieces onto the piece of wood at the base of the knuckle and the wrist. Once you get that straightened out, put some extra support on it with tape. Kind of reinforce the fingers, also provide a cushion against the nitrile foam. Then trace your hand onto the foam. Cut out each finger individually. Spray on some glue on the base of the finger and attach it to the coat hanger fingers. Using your spray glue and scraps of foam, you can use it to build the cushy part, the base of the hand, the thumb, and the back. You can shape up the hand a little bit using the tape. Once you've done this, Cut the PVC to the length of your arm from your elbow to your wrist. Use the cardboard dowel from one of the coat hangers. Cut that in half. It should be long enough to insert into your PVC. And tape off the end where it connects. And attach that with tape to the foam hand. Once you've done that, put in some foam around the hard edges. After you've created the basic foam base of the hand, you want to glue and tape a rectangle of foam to the PVC. This will serve as the forearm. Once you've done that, you can pull on the nitrile gloves. That might be a little tricky, but stick with it and be careful not to rip the nitrile. Look, you can adjust the fingers and it can hold things. Check this out. Yeah. Really what you can do with this basic construction is you can paint it, you can make it into a severed limb, part of a full body human creature. Here I took mine and I painted them so they look like zombie hands. And they're kind of awesome. And they have the texture like uh, grandma's skin or something like that. Well, what I did to get the extra arm stuff was I took the nitrile gloves and I cut off the fingers and the rims for the wrist and then I cut it down the side and I got about four by three inches of material and I would spray glue the material onto around the arms and it took about three or four gloves to do that and then after that after everything dried I put on a base coat of uh, brown and then over that I put a flesh color and then I did a lot of detail work with blood. The only thing is is that it takes a while for regular acrylic paint to dry onto the nitrile material. So just keep that in mind if you decide to go the painting route. Zombie arms! <laughs> Ha 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 